Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? Check out my collection. A shit ton of vacuums. They all work. Um, shit look kind of crazy back here. We got vacuums upside down. We got them stacked on top of each other, a few of them. Um, but they're all pretty... They are pretty um, stable right now. Um, you see that red Hoover? I got two of those. I'm actually gonna show you one in this video. All right, here's the other closet. Vacuums for years, vacuums for days, like plenty of them, too many of them. All right, um, that other red Hoover back there, I got that one in 2000 and I want to say 2021. I got this one in 2013. Uh, we had this vacuum when I was a little kid. My mom, she bought this vacuum. I want to say when I was like maybe three or four. And um, <laughs> the story behind that one was crazy, man. Not this particular Hoover, but the one that my mom bought back in the day. Um, I watched her buy the vacuum, take it home. Like we probably had that vacuum for maybe two or three months. One particular night, we all went to the movies. Me, my sisters, my brothers, my mom and dad, we all went to the movies one night. After the movies, we went out to eat. After we went out to eat, we came back home. We come back home. This crackhead lady named Danny broke in my mama's house, stole her vacuum, stole her radio, stole some candles, stole some CDs, stole some damn tape cassettes. Just crackhead shit. Um, we never got the vacuum back. She sold it. But years later, we end up getting like a Dirt Devil Light Plus. And then I think after the Light Plus, we end up getting like a Bissell Power Partner. Like we grew up with a lot of like uh, beautiful childhood vacuums. So this one is not a special request. This is just one I wanted to pull out and show you. The other red one back there has a black cord. This one has a gray cord. We're gonna go ahead and run it for you. I got this one in 2013 for like 10 bucks at Lucky Seven's Pawn Shop. And I've taken pretty good care of it. Absolutely one of my favorite childhood vacuums. Absolutely.